Hello everyone, welcome to SciDemi. This is DevOps Module 3. In our previous class, we talked about software development lifecycle, right? Okay. So now we are going to discuss the methodologies in the software development lifecycle, right? Now, see here, if you observe the screen, the methodology that we are following to finish this project, the methodology we call step-by-step -step methodology. Okay, step-by-step -step in the sense, see once development is over, then only build. Build is over, then only test. Test is over, then only QA. So one step is over, then only we are coming to second step. Step by step methodology we call. Okay. So in this step by step methodology, we have so many problems. Okay. So first we will discuss all those problems one by one. Okay. Let's see all those things one by one. See the first problem that we are facing that is development versus operations. Okay. Dev versus Ops. I'll give one simple example. Suppose you are in abroad. You met with two people. Uh, one is from one person is from your own country. One person is from another country. Okay. So, with whom would you like to do friendship? At least in initial stages. Okay. So initially, you'll be attracted to the person who is from your own country. You won't be willing to do friendship with the person who is from another country. Here also same thing, development and operations, these two teams are two different teams. Okay. So that's why you can't expect much friendship between these two teams. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that they'll fight with each other. No. I'll tell you what actually happens. Development team, they have created that product. You can see here at the end of this stage, they have created one product. So after creating that product, the development team, they'll hand over that product to operations team. Right. Operations team, they'll try to deploy, maintain and monitor. That's what they do. Now, while deploying that product, operation stream, if they face any problem, straight away, they'll blame development team. Hey, development team, what kind of application that you have created that is not at all working fine in our machines? That's what operation stream would say, say. Now, what this development team, these people are going to say, hey, operation stream, the problem is not with my product. That could be, problem could be in your machines. Correct. That's how they blame each other. See here, no one ready to take the blame. Okay. So, because of this lack of communication, lack of friendship, okay, it takes a lot of time to address a small issue. You know, issue could be a small thing, small, but to address that issue, it takes a lot of time because of lack of, you know, friendship, because of communication gap, okay. If they sit together, if they talk together, if they resolve that issue together, we don't have any problem, but that is not happening over there, okay, because of lack of communication, okay. So, that is the first problem that we are facing. You know, right, in my first class, I, we talked about faster delivery, right? So we need to deliver as fast as possible. But here, because of that small issue, okay, so instead of, you know, addressing that issue, they are blaming each other. That's the first problem. Now, second problem is, second one is, let me write here, uh, build versus test. Build versus test. One more example. Suppose you are in India, you met with two people, one is from your own state, one is from another state. With whom would you do friendship? At least same in initial stages. You will be attracted to the person who is from your own state, but not the person who is from another state. Correct or not? We can't expect much friendship between you and the person who is from another state. Initial stages only. Okay. Now here, you can see even though development team is same, but here if you observe, developers, build, test, QA, these are different, different team members. All comes under development team only. But teams are inside that, these are different teams. Developers are separate. Build is separate. Test is separate. QA is separate. Here also same problem. You can't expect much friendship between these two teams. And one more thing, what used to happen earlier. Earlier, night builds used to happen. Night builds. Whole day developers write the code. During nights, they hand out that code to build team. Build team, they build. Again, next day morning developers come. That is how it used to happen earlier. And in companies, still this process is happening. See, a developer, they hand out that code to build team. They'll build. While building, if they face any issue, they have to inform to the developer who has written that code when on the next day morning. Correct or not? Okay, they'll inform to developer on the next day morning. Developer will come on the next day morning. He will address that issue. Again, he will hand over that modified code to build team when that day night. That means to address one issue, it is taking one complete day. 
Okay, so 100 issues are there means 100 days are over. Correct? Okay, build is over. Again, they will hand over that one to test team. Same if any issue is there while testing, they have to inform to developer. At the end of the day, who is going to address all those issues? Developers only. Correct or not? This is the second problem. Third problem is manual. See here, here each and everything we are doing manually. Manually developers are writing the code. Manual build, manual test, manual QA, manual deploy, manual maintenance and manual monitoring. See guys, this is not the era of manual thing. This is the era of automation. But everything we are doing manually. I'll give one simple example. See, <clears throat> you know right, uh, water pots, correct? Suppose you want to buy water pots. Okay, 100 water pots. You met with two people who are preparing those pots. One person is preparing that those pots by using his hand. Okay. Another person he is preparing those pots by using a machine. The person who is using his hand to prepare that water pot, that's traditional method. So all 100 water pots would be in 100 different sizes. Correct or not? You can't expect a synchronization. You can't expect much quality. And since he is doing a lot of hard work, he will charge more. And uh, it takes a lot of time for him to prepare those pots. But the person who is preparing those pots by using tool, uh, all 100 would be in the same sizes. You can, you can expect much synchronization. And uh, he is not doing much hard work. That's why he will charge less. And within less time, he can prepare those pots. Correct or not? So, compared to handmade things, machine-made things are always perfect. Correct or not? But everything we are doing manually, that's a one more drawback. Okay, and the final problem is delivering the whole product in one go. Delivery of whole product. Delivery of whole product in one go. Let me give one more example. You know, right, Redbus and Abibus, these are the applications. Uh, uh, up in India by using which we can book bus tickets. Correct or not? Red bus and Abhi bus. Let me write here. So these are the applications by using which we book bus tickets in India. Uh, now, you know, right, Red bus they launched first. Okay, fine. Now just assume I'm the owner of Abhi bus. And uh, first, I got this kind of idea, right? Uh, you know, why can't we create this kind of application so that my customers should be able to book tickets through online itself? Okay. Now, now say I talk to one IT company. That IT manager he said that say it takes one year. He said that it takes one year to create that application. Okay. Now I said that okay, you go ahead, you create that application. Now, 11 months are already over. That means 11 months are over means the application is almost ready. It is at a review stage. Development, build, test, QA, everything is over. Finally, at a review stage. Next month, I am going to introduce my application to customers. That means, see here, here, 11 months are already over. Okay. Now, next month, I am going to introduce that application to customers. When I am in 11th month, Redbus already launched their application. Okay, so you know, right? Faster delivery goes to Redbus, and it grabbed that whole market. Everyone started using Redbus only. Now, even though if I launch Abibus that application, can I attract customers? No, you know, right? Faster delivery, right? So that means my entire 11 months effort is waste, salaries and all everything waste. Correct? You might be having notes. Why? Why can't you modify that application? See, once building is already over, construction is over. Everything is over, final painting is pending. Now you are saying that, Sai, please modify the rooms. Is it possible? No, right? Instead of that, it is better to, you know, demolish that building and reconstruct again. Correct or not? So here, if you, if you deliver whole product in one go, finally you may end up with these kind of problems. So these are the problems in this step-by-step -step methodology. These four problems. So this step-by-step -step methodology we call waterfall.
You might have heard this word, right? This methodology we call waterfall methodology. Okay, means water drop by drop, right? Here, step by step, stage by stage. Okay, one stage is over, then only come into second stage. Okay, so these are the problems that we are facing in this waterfall methodology. In next class, we are going to talk about agile methodology. Okay, there we are going to address all these issues. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.